Okay. Fantastic fucking people. Part, what is this? Three? Four? Four. Part four of Ultraman. Okay. So, um, while I am going through this lag filled fuck fest, uh, you probably hear a lot of wishing noises in the background. Um, I'm sorry for that. Normally I turn off my fan when recording, but, um, it was 93 degrees out today, and I was out all day. I only just got home about an hour and a half ago, and as soon as I got home, there was an event downstairs, so I got drug into it. But we did have some delicious food, so I can't really complain. But, um, also I had to use the restroom, and that adds to problems. Not gonna go over why, obviously, because it's gross. But yeah. So, the fan is going to be whizzing in the background for at least the next couple of videos if I do more than once a night, which, hopefully, uh, I actually get the urge to do that today. Um, I didn't mean to poke it in the nose, my bad. The lag is very obnoxious, um, more so for me than you guys, to be honest, because, well, uh, also expect the yawning to be at maximum capacity, because I have a full stomach of fucking food, so when I'm fat, I get yawning. I'm gonna try to just, like, lean back and chill today. Um, uh, the last three videos, I recorded one per day, and I really need to not do that if I expect this series to go anywhere. Um, but we are technically still in the fucking tutorial. Um... While we are further along the tutorial than most people would consider to still be a tutorial, this is still kind of a tutorial, because until you beat uh, the first trial, you are heavily fucking restricted to a very linear pathway, where you have no choice but to go where the game tells you to go. And I hate that, but you know, I will save my complaints. Oh, fucking yawning, I it. I will save the extent of my complaints for a potential review of this game. Um, I don't think I will, but we will see. I do want to do reviews, uh, but at the same time, I don't care. Also, yeah, um, that's another mechanic right there with the wishing grass. If I go in this grass, that fucker's gonna charge right at me, like that. I think it's a Makuhita. Oh, it's an Ekans. Okay, cool. I actually like Ekans. I do not like Makuhita. And it has a vagina! <laughs> or should I say a uh, differently shaped Pneueka? That's actually more gross than saying vagina. <laughs> it's got a pussy! Yeah, I'm just not giving a fuck about, like, what I say in these videos anymore. Fuck it. I've already been very loose with cuss words. Um, and I figure now I'll just say whatever the fuck I want. Um, I will be going over some minor things in the game, but for the most part, if you've played a Pokemon game before, you know what to do in this game from the minute you start. It's just the difference is, is that 7th Gen, or Gen 7 is just a little bit more railroaded. The prior generation got. Damn it! Oh! I fucking hate yawning so much! Ugh. Oh, it is fucking painful every time. Oh, yeah, I also, uh, forgot to mention that when I used, uh, PK Hex, I used full. I, uh, used it to access, uh, a buttload of full restores because I don't like backtracking to Pokemon Centers if I don't have to. That makes it easier for me. Um, we'll fight you, should we fight you, I don't know if we should fight you, fuck it. Bring it on, you little brat. Preschooler Pistons full power. <laughs> Boy, if you were any older, that would not sound right. <laughs> First thing I think of is like gyrations, like he's humping his Pokeball, which is very disturbing to think a preschooler doing that. Better yet, why does a preschooler have a Pokemon in the first fucking place if you're not supposed to get a Pokemon until you're 12 years old? The fuck? 
If you're a preschooler, you're younger than six. Most likely four or five. And I don't know any four or five year old in this universe, including my nephew, that has the mental fortitude to fucking train a mythical animal. We'll go over here for a second. I don't know what's up here. Oh, it's an item. Anything important? Uh, gives me an extra Pokeball for now, I guess. Oh, no? Okay. What are you here for then? Okay, nothing. All right, what's over here? Oh, the cemetery. That's right. Interesting. I have better performance here. Uh, it's not quite as visually taxing as the other areas. I'm debating uh, dropping the resolution down to native, but I don't want to um, because it looks terrible in its native resolution. It's far too pixelated. Um, oh yeah, that's what I wanted to talk about. Kind of off topic, but uh, I just got back from my job interview today over at a casino nearby. Uh, as you guys know, I live in Vegas, so there's a lot of those casino thingies here. Um, so I went and applied for a job at one of the MGM Resorts properties, and the interview went swimmingly, so I'm really hopeful that uh, it goes well, and I will have money in my pocket again, so that I can actually, you know, live without having to live off of my fucking tax return from my previous job. Ugh. Oh god damn it! Ugh. Yawning is always painful for me. Also, I have a little bunny rabbit now. That wants to learn Return. Uh, return is good stab for a Lopunny when you have max friendship, but... I would much rather have diverse type coverage than stab for a normal type. The only normal types I ever give normal type moves in the current generations are um, Tauros and uh, Snorlax. Because they both have very powerful body slams. I mean, granted, there's plenty of other. Oh, also with the uh, Extreme Killer Arceus when I'm using it in competitive play. Because uh, Extreme Speed on Arceus combined with Sword Dance, Earthquake, and Shadow Claw, uh, it tends to fuck up a lot of shit really fast. Okay, this thing shouldn't go down too easily or too hard. It uh, it's got five base defense, so even with poor attack and a negative attack nature, acrobatics is still gonna kill it. I got surprisingly less experience for that than I thought I was going to, but I think that's because of the level difference. Maybe. Happini is one of those Pokemon that gives a very good amount of experience, just like its evolutions do. And uh, unlike Generation Six with Omega Ruby off Sapphire, there is no like fast way to level up in this game. Um, I think the highest level wild Pokemon you encounter are around like the mid... I'm probably gonna kill it doing that. I probably shouldn't have done that. I wanted that Drift Moon. Yeah, that's what I thought. Fuck. I should have swapped out for something and hit it ball with, hit it with ball or some shit. Anyway. Um, I think like the highest level pre-Elite 4 Pokemon that you fight Oh, wonderful. The most useless TM in the entire fucking game. I think it's, uh, like, level 50 or so at the most. When you get around to the, uh, Vast Pony Canyon. And if there's any Hawaiian people in my audience, um, please tell me. Does the pony in Pony Canyon have anything to do with a horse? Because I tried to look it up and my research came up fruitless. Ugh. Also, not exactly sure why they decided to make a gender difference between male and female Pikachu. I mean, it doesn't really matter one way or the other, but I just find it interesting, I guess. Alright, so the cemetery is now- Ah! Fucking why the edge? Like, my toe is only the, the only thing in it. Oh, cool. If this is a girl, I'm grabbing it. Mm. Call me sexist against men, I don't care. Uh, I think Ekans might be able to grab it for me. 
Also, I am stupidly relaxed right now. I'm I'm laying on my bed with my TV and my laptop in front of me. Just watching it like that. <laughs> or playing a game like that, because God damn it, I feel fat right now, so fuck it. Uh rap, poison sting, bite. <sighs> Alright. I'll just chuck a ball at you then, buddy. Uh oh I have great balls, I didn't even know that. Alright. Pokeball, get it. Driftblim's not a very useful Pokemon in this game. There are far better ghost types you can have access to. Like Mimikyu, for example. Um, but I do have a soft spot for Driftblim. Primarily because it's one of the hardest Pokemon to fucking catch in its introductory generation. Along with Munchlax. Ugh. To this day, I have still never caught a Munchlax in Pokemon Generation 4. Also, hold on. Whoops. I almost broke my cord. Sorry, guys. One second here, people. There. There's it. Oh, that's what I did. Hold on. Technical difficulties. Give me a sec. There we go. Okay. All right. Whew. I was trying to reach for my mouse so that I could tap a uh, little Pokedex or Rotom fucker. And I ended up damn near fucking breaking my phone charger cable. I tried to grab the fucking mouse and I ended up hitting the cable and pulling it out of the wall. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, okay, I can clearly walk through that. Why is there an invisible wall when I'm clearly small enough to fit whatever? <laughs> this is Pokemon logic. I can't look at it too, too drastic. Okay, is there anything else I can do maybe in here? I've actually not done a vast majority of the mini side quest video thing, whatever shits, uh, in Generation 7. Hey, I'm gonna go there, I'm gonna go fast, <laughs> I just turned on this fucking, god, what is that, like a 64-inch fucking flat screen? Dude, like, why do you have a fucking... Massive fucking flat screen in here for no goddamn reason. And your bed is tiny. Oh, I can lay on that. Yay! There is the sad, musty odor of an old bed that no one has slept in for a long time. Oh my god, that is gross and depressing. <laughs> Hold on, it's Pokemon games. There's a trash can in here. Anything in it? I can't even click on it. Why? <laughs> Yeah, I've done- I've literally done no exploring, uh, in Pokémon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon. Um, why is there a sticker on his fridge? That doesn't make sense. Okay, right. So that's another reason why this playthrough is gonna be quite a bit longer than even Omega Ruby, which I think went up to, like, almost 40 parts. Oh yeah, that's right, his fucking Crab Brawler doesn't want me to pass. You know what? Fuck your stupid crab. I'm gonna fucking stab it. Oh, wait, am I able to go, or... Am I able to... Oh, okay, cool. I didn't know I was able to go. thought a stupid crab was going to try to pinch my nipple off. What is this? Why is there a puppy back there? Who are you, and what is this place? You're often your only challenge, but you'll need to help any different Pokemon. Bitch! Oh, fuck! Fuck you! Okay. Uh, vending machine? Oh, I can get... Oh, no, I can't. Okay. Crash receptacle. Why am I not able to pull stuff out of the garbage? It's very disappointing. What about in here? Hi! Random stranger. Oh, mine, mine. Cool. Oh, you guys must be a couple. How you doing, pretty lady? Now my makeup doesn't seem to match. Hmm. Oh, you sound pleasant. Alright, what's your opinion about that, bucko? What Pokedex didn't have you? And I guess I'll give you some nest balls. You don't sound too happy about that, buckaroo. Ah. <sighs> Nest balls make it easier to catch Pokemon that are weak. Lower the level, easier it is. Got it? And actually, that's not the case. It's a matter of the bigger, the difference between your level and the Pokemon's level, the uh, higher the catch rate. So that is a misnomer that the game deliberately lies to you about. Also, yeah, I'm, I'm almost certainly going to make this video, uh, or this uh, session, actually a session. Because I have another job interview tomorrow morning. And, uh, 
at like 10.30, so I, oh, that's what he's not letting me do. He's not letting me go past this way. Oh yeah, that's right. Oh yes, that's fucking right. I actually have to do one of the dumbest fucking shits in the goddamn world at some point. The godforsaken fucking man time race. Okay, look. I love man team. Man time. I've been calling it man time. I don't give a fuck. I've been calling it man time since I was 10. So I'm gonna call it man time. Anyway, um, I like man time and all, you know, but. I didn't want to ever surf on one. That was never something I cared about. They put it in Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon just to stall for fucking time. It's padding. Simple as that. It's padding. If you don't think it's padding, that's your opinion. That's fine. I'm not going to knock you for having a different opinion, but it is padding. I, I see nothing else that I can call it other than pointless, needless padding. However, I do like the fact that uh, Poplio gets access to Icy Wind. I don't need it right now because I have Ice Beam, obviously, for Pika Hex, but um, I'm really glad that uh, they did change some of the Pokemon's movesets between games, and I forgot that I don't evolve until level 17. Fine. Let's go ahead and heal a bit. Um, I didn't realize I was, like, half dead until I <sighs> threw her out there. Not sure what my final team's going to be yet. Um, I feel like I've said that, like, a thousand times. Not in this playthrough, but in general. Okay, Big Wave Beach. So basically, we don't do anything here yet. At least not in regards to surfing Mantine. We don't surf Mantine until after we defeat our first trial and we have to go to another island. Which, I might tell you now, is exactly the reason I don't like the Mantine ride. Because it is not optional your first time. It is non-optional. You have to ride Mantine in order to get to the next island after your first trial. I don't understand why they made it something you have to do. Had they just made it an optional method to get to the island, that would have been fine, but they didn't. It is mandatory in order to get to the next area. And I'm sorry, but that's just stupid to me. Why can I not get past you? Wait, do I have to like walk out again or something? I know Team Skull is going to, like, pop up their stupid fucking faces at some point. Spoke to the Mantine. Pretty lady and a fucking surfer bro. Uh, oh yeah, that's what I was getting at. Uh, the Mantine rides, um, it's basically your way of, or of earning what this game considers a type of battle point. Um, and you can use those battle points to teach your Pokemon moves through the Move Tutor. But of course, to do that, you have to do a lot of Mantine riding. A lot of Mantine riding. I managed to, after a course of, I want to say 15 hours in total of grinding before I got completely fucking sick of it, I grinded enough to teach about five Pokemon, five different moves. That's about it. Uh, because some of the moves are extremely expensive and can be up to 48, of the, what these people call CP, but it's basically battle points. Um, and due to that, being the only way except for uh, the fucking uh, Battle Royale, which is also stupid, to get these points. Um, yeah, I, I never bothered. I did it at first, and I'm never doing it again. So yeah, we gotta get rid of fucking Team Skull out of here so we can progress. Get used to this if you have not played Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon before, because there is a lot of tug and pull here. You are going to get drugged in different directions when you don't want to be. It's stupid, I don't like it, but it is the way the game operates, so I don't have a choice. Y'all wanted to see this? Y'all gonna see this, you understand me? You hear me? I would do some of my other accents, but uh, I'm full of food and I don't feel like it. <laughs> I'm an amateur voice actor, and by amateur, I mean amateur. Oh, excuse me, kids. So yeah, she gives us a fresh water, not that we need one. And tells us to go, you know, progress the story. Like, this is just their method of getting you accustomed to the fact that this place is here for when you actually have to come here. Which is fine if you didn't have to come back. 
If I could just go in there for a minute and then kick Team Skull's ass, get them out of the way, save the lady or whatever and the Mantine, and then go on my merry way and never come back here again, I would have much greatly preferred that, but unfortunately it is mandatory for later on. Murkrow, the bane of my existence. Uh, I really want to say why it is. Oh, God. Uh... Yeah, fuck it. My ex fiance's favorite Pokemon. Bat and Honchkrow, it's evolution. <sighs> and I used to like Honchkrow. And now I can't think about it without thinking about her. So yeah, mindless whining and bitching aside. We killed a bird, so I feel good about myself right now. And these fuckers, uh, they showed up a couple of times, I believe already. Um, but I don't know if we know their identities yet. Or we get to know what they are, who they are. Uh, basically, they are the ultra wormhole people, which is another thing that we will have to use, uh, but more towards the very end of the game. So I don't worry about that because that's again end game. So like you know you're preparing for like you know champion and shit. Uh, I think this is also is this the grass where you can catch Eden? No, that's more towards Pony King. I'm debating using an evolution, but I probably won't. Uh, the only evolutions I genuinely, genuinely love are Flareon and uh, Flareon, Vaporeon, and Sylveon. But I already have my Water type with Toplio, so there's no point in getting Vaporeon. And uh, Primarina is also half Fairy type, so there's no point in getting Sylveon. And Flareon as an Endgame Fire type may not be a very good option. I could go with Arcanine, but I think that might be... I've gone with Arcanine in a lot of playthroughs. In particular, um, I've used Arcanine in Gold and Silver. Or whichever one has it and which one doesn't. I think Gold has it, and then Silver has Vulpix. As well as in Crystal. Um, I've used it in Fire Red and Leaf Green. I've used it once in XE Gale of Darkness out of my 30 billion playthroughs of that game. Probably should have used called Okay, never mind. Okay. Um, I used it in Harkle and Soul Silver, or whichever one has it. I think it's Harkle. But I used it there. Um, where else did I use it? I think that was it. I don't think I used it past Generation Four. No, 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 no. I used it in Black and White Two before, multiple times, because it's uh, the earliest fire type you can get that's not named Tepid, which. Tepic is the worst fire starter. Prove me wrong. Change my mind. You can't. I hate, hate, hate Pig Knight and Embor. I hate them, and they are the only starter Pokemon that I actually hate. One of the only Pokemon that I hate in general, actually. I will fucking, like, I have sort of a bias towards water type Pokemon for starters. Um, but my favorite water type, my favorite starter Pokemon is Primarina. Which, go figure, I mean, it's a beautiful fucking mermaid, and it's stature similar to Gardevoir, so... Plus it's also a fairy type, which is my second favorite type. Speaking of fairies, I want an actual dragon fairy that is not named Mega Altaria. Please. I don't care where we get it from, but Gen, Gen 8, give me f a fucking dragon fairy type. Hell, you know what'd be cool is if, like, the Dragon Fairy was the fucking pseudo-legendary. That'd be awesome. What are you doing? Okay, oh, Roto Lotto. That's what you want me to do. I totally forgot about that. I was only half paying attention to what he was saying. But yeah, this is an interesting, yet stupid feature in the game called Roto Lotto. Uh, if you look down on the bottom screen, a, on a random set of circumstances, Rotom's eyes will begin glowing and flashing between yellow and blue colors. When this happens, you click on Rotom's face, and it will start a lottery reel, which, by the way, it doesn't matter when you press the button, the decision is determined immediately, um, as soon as it starts glowing, so you can't soft reset to get a better result. But each time you do that, um, Rotom will give you a, uh, sort of a boost of some variety. Uh, Roto boosts, such as, like, prize money boost and whatnot. Uh, these little boosts can help with, uh, either increasing your Pokemon stats. 
or in during battle. It basically is exactly the same as the O powers from Generation Six. So, if you know anything about the O, but uh, but unlike the O powers, though, you get them at random, which is dumb. I don't like it. Anyway. All right, guys, so that's going to go into it for this video. I will be recording a couple more tonight. Um, I'm feeling good, so fuck it. Let's do some more. So anyway, if you guys have any suggestions for future content, please leave your suggestions in the comments section down below or on my Twitter page, at The Zodiris. The link to that will be in the description down below. And until next time, this has been ZDS, making YouTuber fun one video at a time, and I'll see you guys in the next video.